Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Quark, and today we're playing more Outward. So I'm officially actually in the Definitive Edition. I would guess I was never playing it because you gotta go through Steam. Uh, and click play and then it'll ask you if you want to play the original or the Definitive. I'm trying to think of anything that's changed. I got this. The Wolf Great Hammer. It looks really, really cool. Now let me equip it real quick. It looks really cool. Basically, how I got this was whenever I transferred my save. There we go. Whenever I transferred my save, I had to do these different things where I was clicking and changing file names and all kinds of stuff. Because I guess it doesn't transfer over quite right or at all, really. So after I did all of that, it started me back off at the beginning of the quest uh, that we were on last time. And that guy was in that dungeon. He wielded that awesome rate mace axe thing, warhammer, whatever. Anyways, I'm, I'm scatterbrained. But yeah, he wielded that and he was, <laughs> he was hard. Oh my God, he was hard. Uh, but I did find out that I don't need to wait for a quest line to go into the Cornflakes Mountain to get mana. So we are actually going to go into the Cornflakes Mountain to get mana today. And then we're also going to take out the Vardenfall Fortress. Now, I do know that these aren't the proper names for these places, but these are the names I have given them. So let's, I think we're well equipped enough. It's cold, but it should be fine. Let's head out to the Cornflakes Mountain. So overall, now that I've seen the original to the now, it does look a little bit better. It's brighter, it's crisper. Overall, it does look better. Would I say it's a drastic overhaul? No, but it does look better. So I do know they added new death scenes. Well, I guess not death scenes, but outcomes, more diseases and more areas to explore on top of overhauling the UI and stuff like that. I've heard there's bugs. I haven't seen any. And another cool thing I noticed is I can access uh, my home stash and any of my homes. So now they're all connected. So that means like if I'm in Berg, I can get all the stuff that's in my chest from Sierzo, which is, that's a really awesome, awesome update. Also, one more thing before we get there. A lot of people don't know this, but this series was called the way of the wizard. I'm not going to go wizard. I know I talked about it. I'm going to go spell sword. Um, there were two of them. That two builds that I was reading that I really liked. One was like antique spell sword, and the other one was something else that involves using the arcane swords that you get from the shaman or something like that. So that's probably I'm probably gonna go with one of those. There are more melee builds, but ooh 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 ooh, you're a good one. You're a bad one. We were right there too. Okay, we'll get back there. It's fine. I really should have thought that over. I think I'm gonna switch over to that, that two handed ax. A few days have passed. That's not good. Who's the bitch now? Didn't have anything good. I will take all of that. It's, it's not that it's not good. I can sell it. So that's fine. All right. So this, I believe, is the one we are looking for. Yeah, the Holy Mission one. This is the shorter path, but it's supposed to be the harder one. I don't know. If anything major happens, I'm just going to run straight through it. So if anything major happens, I'll let you guys know. But 
Yeah, I'm just gonna run through it. That first room was way harder than it should have been. Oops, hopefully that's fine. Uh, do I go this way? Do I go this way? Oh, I think they all intersect. That makes sense. Ooh, Adventurer's Corpse. What killed you? This running across this path is going to kill me. I wonder why I died. Did you give up too much? Welcome. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of Elena. The place where the very world itself will pour its power into you, if you make room for it. To open yourself to mana is to open yourself to the flow of the world. To use magic is to command the world to obey your desires. Master magic and you master the flow that echoes through us all. If you prepare to sacrifice some of yourself for it, you are prepared. And you're prepared to miss many nights of sleep. We welcome you. May the power of man lead you to the road of success. So I think that's a nod to the fact that if you are tired, for some reason it boosts your mana regeneration, which is really weird to me. And we also got to purchase a spell from one of these guys. I think it's either the first or the ninth. Can't remember. So you have come. I sense that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. Yo, totally me. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. You must sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line. And in return, what you gave up and given back to you is mana. Be careful how much of your life and stamina you give up. Because you can never get it back. Okay. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell. The spark. It is small and weak, but combined with other spells, components could be produced. Yeah, it can produce powerful effects. Thank you. Um, I think it was two points was the recommended because I can get 15 back. Right? Anyways, never I unlock the spell sword, I get like so much back for it. So we will go ahead and sacrifice two. Could do three. Could do a bunch. We'll do two. That's what's recommended for this this build. And we now have magic. Ooh, we look cool. Listen to me. Now the mana flows through your veins. I will teach you new a new spell to welcome you as a mage. Um, I think it's reveals souls. That's the good one. Give me a second. Let me read into this. I think it's reveal souls though. Okay. It's the fire sigil. And there's someone else we have to learn something from. Okay. Actually, I don't see anybody else. So I don't think there is anybody else to learn stuff from. So we're going to head back to Burr Sierzo. All right. We have to talk to this guy. I think. Yeah, I want to train with you. And this is the thing that we need. We need Spellblades Awakening, Infuse Fire, Elemental Discharge. Oh, I don't have enough silver. Oh, it's because I have it all converted to gold. One second. Okay. Infuse Fire, and Elemental Discharge. First portion of what we need to do next, I think we need to talk to him. Amber, my friend. The threat of Vandervel has been very worried. Ah, uh, I I tried to use my mouse to read. I would go to take care of them, but I think one of the warriors because I I think I know who it is, he would recognize me and kill me before I go inside. Uh, is there a safe way to get inside? I think so. I can modify one of my Kazite masks to fit you. And this one. Ah, yes. We uh we gathered that a little bit before. We bought the sand from someone in town. 
And the word Nindara roughly means sea brother. And try to speak like me. Yes. Okay. So that's one part. Now we need to buy Gasberry, Gosberry wine. The reason why we're not fully setting up for our build yet is because we need one more thing before we do. We got our wine. I don't remember how many we needed. I really want to get the last half, but I know it would require some farming to get the silver. Sorry, I did not mean to hit that. Which the last half is rune sage. So we're probably gonna need about a thousand or two silver. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll go to the Vardenfall Fortress and try to take that out. We can skip two of the three fights. It's kind of cheap the way I'm gonna do it. It's kind of messed up. So basically one, you get dude drunk on the wine. I think we need two, might need one. So you get the dude drunk on the wine. And then you tell him that the guy back in town can totally best you. You're not the best fighter. He gets pissed off, runs off into town, and gets captured. Uh, for the ice witch, you have to kill her husband, who is a crazy wind windigo at this point. And I'm not about to mess with that. So I will kill her. And then... The captain, he wants Etso, the guy that made our armor and stuff. So that's why I went ahead and got my mana and whatnot. So that way we no longer have to worry about him. Because I will more than likely sacrifice him. I know it sounds bad, but it avoids two of the three fights. So it's probably what I'm going to do. We made it. We're not very much worse for wear. Let's talk to this guy and get him drunk and get him convinced to go fight the other guy. What can I do for you? Oh. All right. Oh, it smells like good stuff. Bro, man, that was the best booze I've had in <clears throat> ever. You didn't say I you said well since I've been in exile, if I could take on anyone to win. Uh anyone anyone even someone like Bark? Don't cross me. Hmm. Kick me out like he did. Now we come to Taxiers. So I'm gonna get him and put his head on a plaque. He can't stop a whole army. <laughs> Wait, what? You're clearly a match for him alone, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold the fort while I'm gone. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So we got some stuff for it and he's gone. Next. I don't want whatever the hell he gave me this fur tent. Don't need that. Now we need to equip our Kazite stuff. Talk to these guys at uh, number one. Give me a hand, will you? Hope you brought good news. Go report to the captain. He has moved to the training room, go left, then right, then upstairs. We need to fight the other girl first. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change back into our mage stuff. Oh, this is going to be hard. You're not one of my warriors. You're from Cierzo. I can tell. Make your case quickly. I'm here to kill you. Do not cross me. Uh, this is going to be difficult. Come with her. I'm so close to. Oh, they're kicking me out. That sucks even more because that means they're both going to respawn. That's fine. We will rest and do all that fun jazz. And then we'll go back in there and try to fight them again. Ooh, okay. That hurt. He's dead. We're gonna go uh, heal. Yeah, I think was, as long as we play Ring Around the Rosie, we should. Oh, no, we're not. We won't be good. Oh, crap. They changed that. Okay. 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 All right, here we go. 
Here we go. Oh, oh wrong button. Okay, this isn't working out. We're gonna go down. We're gonna heal a little bit. We're out of potions. Fuck, she hit so hard. All right, yeah, this is a good cheese. Okay. Ooh, I almost died on that one. <sighs> we definitely need to rest before we do anything else unless these guys have potions. And we need to repair our equipment too. She has awesome arcane robes. I will definitely take those. Let's see if we can rest and repair. We can, perfect. All right, now hopefully Rampa doesn't want to kill us. Because if he does, this is going to be really difficult. Uh, we have no health potions. We are going to go ahead and down a stamina just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and equip the, the Warhammer. Yep, because we definitely have people to fight. Lots of people to fight. Oh, well, they kicked us back outside. That's fine. We can rest and we can recuperate yet again. Look at that. It's like, boom, done. That should be it. I don't have to worry about them. And I think he said it was in the training room. Please don't want to fight me. Oh, fuck, he does. We're doomed. We're not going to get this. You know what? We got this. We don't got this. So we're going to go home, we're going to rest, we're going to recuperate, we're going to buy potions. I don't know. We're going to do something. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days. We are back. I'm not feeling it. All right, we're going to take a warm potion because we got things set up properly. So we're going to do one of these. We are going to drink another warm potion because we are definitely going to use that because now we're going to, we're going to start using our magic. There's kind of like no two ways around it. We have to. So Mr. Rumpa. And it missed. I hope you like fire. Oh, he likes fire. That shield is amazing. And that is everything else that we need. Uh, I'm going to go back upstairs. I don't know what else is up here. Five people to fight. It is. So I'm not worried about that. There is a chest in here. And I don't know what the key is to get it. I know the floor drops out if I get it wrong. I want to look it up though. Because I want this chest. I'm going to look this up real quick and then we're going to get the chest. Okay, they said the 11 o'clock position one. So that'll be this one, I believe. Oh, that scared me. Okay. We got a brutal spear, which is pretty nice. Actually, you know, we'll take it all. Oh. We did it, guys. Freaking did it. <laughs> um, I'm going to get back home and kind of recuperate a little bit. On the next episode, we will get our arcane stuff, so that way we no longer have to deal with weapons. We can just do our elemental decay crap. And then we'll go save Rissa. I think that sounds like a good next episode right so i thank you all for watching if you guys like the video make sure to like the video and if you're not already subscribed definitely recommend subscribing and uh i'll see you all in the next one